good 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 morning and welcome to gtv and as you seen up in that title you about to get a ten dollar diy backdrop video no slow mo need i do my slow mo on my own but before we get into all that if you are new here you've never been here you've never laid eyes on this face <laughs> Make sure you subscribe or the next time you go somewhere, I hope that you come home or I hope that they put cold frost in your bag. If you want to be a real OG and you want to keep up with me, you have to subscribe. Now that we got that out the way, we're going to get straight up into this DIY video. Materials. What are you going to need? You're going to need five different things. You're going to need those foam boards. Not the, the flimsy one. Not these boards. Not them. But you're going to need the foam thicker ones. Not the trifold. Not that. The foam big boards you're gonna need some scissors to cut your four by six pictures in half you're gonna need a glue or applicator of some sort i'm using my podge but you're putting paper on paper so use whatever you have on hand keep this diy ten dollars baby and then you're gonna need a towel or something to rub your glue or however you're gonna do it on there however you're gonna apply it because even if you use elmer's glue or something like that you're gonna need something to rub it on there because you're gonna be putting it and placing it on that brick spout. So now that we got all the materials out the way, let's get to how I got the pictures and the logo. So I'm about to walk y'all through how I got the pictures with the four by six on, with two design logos on the four by six. So I went to the CVS Photos app. Another way to keep this DIY under $10, you have to go to the CVS Photos on Google. And then you go straight to the website, straight to the homepage. It's going to have different deals and discounts. Now, they have deals and discounts every single week. And they change them, but they're around the same percentages off for the same stuff. Like one week, I got some four by sixes for $0.12. Cents. This time for this DIY, I got them for $0.13. Cents. So as you see, they vary, but they're weekly. They have them all the time, so there'll always be a deal on their pictures. And when you get there, you click on the four by six offer that you want to get. And when you go there, you upload your image. Once you upload your image, you change the quantity. I changed my quantity to 101. Now, if you do the math all the way out, which I did not do, I literally went off the top of my head, for this you're gonna need 10 10 20 30 40 50 so you're gonna need 50 squares per foam board now when you get each picture it holds two squares each four by six printout holds two squares so technically i had right on top of exactly what i needed and i think that's i think they gave me more because i got like two pictures left over so that means they probably gave me a hundred no that means the math is right 101 yep anyway if you get your pictures printed out by cvs and you do it with the two on two size and you get 200 or you get 100 quantity 100 it will be enough for four boards and they get them printed out in like less than an hour so you can go and pick them up at your closest near cbs and once you got your pictures you already ahead of the game so now that we got the pictures we got all the materials everything that you need we're gonna start applying it what i personally did was i poured the glue on there i just poured the glue on there and that's why i said you're gonna need a towel i got the towel rubbed the glue in and when i was rubbing the glue in i was making sure that i coated it kind of evenly i wanted to leave a good thickish amount so that it'll be stuck on there a little bit more than just a little you know what i'm saying but it'll be on there on there and the reason why i recommend or use my pods personally is because it's a binder it's a sealer you can use it as a sealer so if it's if you put a good amount on there it's gonna create a brick style setup you kind of putting it somewhere that's like your semen in the middle and whew, and as you're doing this, you're going to notice that it's like brick style. So you're doing it like a brick style setup. But you're placing your pictures on there. And the only thing you do is just keep going straight across and keep going straight down. It takes 10 across the top. And it takes five going straight down. So that's 50 pictures each square. And once you get the squares filled out, you're halfway done. I mean, like, you're almost done. So it took me about 30 minutes to get all four squares done. Now that I got all four squares done, let's talk about how I can the wall. So I use thumbtacks. I literally have thumbtacks inside of this uh, thing on the corners. This is all four boards. This is the ictus of the four boards, the right middle point right here. And there's two 
pins on each corner. Now, the pins that I used are clear, so you can't see them to the naked eye. And if somebody's watching your video that hard to where they see pins in your head, then they need to sponsor that video or something. Hopefully, that they <laughs> drop some bread on it. But you're not going to be able to see them. And I use a white design. I use white. White, you can see anything on white. So you don't see them on the board behind me, so you're not going to see them directly off of the eye. And with stuff like this, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? You're doing a mo the same picture over and over again. Just trying to keep them as consistently straight as possible as you can get them left to right. Keep them as consistently straight as possible as you get them going down. Even if it's some hangage. You know what I'm saying? I hung these up according to what I actually had on hand. Beware of cutting pictures in a stack because they'll cut differently. You know what I'm saying? You don't want them to cut like that. You want it to be kind of straight because these are squares. And they do equal equivalent to the actual size of the board so if you do too too much you know what i'm saying you your pitch is too big one size and the other one's not then you use different ones on different boards it's just gonna be a lot just try to make sure you can get your pictures as even as possible when you're cutting them in half because it is essentially a square but yeah back to when i was putting them up so when i was putting them up i just kind of pieced them together i had two that had like more size hanging off the side and i had two that had more paper hanging off the top if that makes sense like when you stack the papers on there when you're actually doing the diy you'll understand when i say some more on the side you might have a little hangage but that hangage actually came at an advantage when i was hanging them up because it made it look like it was overlaid and layered on top of each other now beware of it drying if you use the glue and stuff and warping if it dries and warps, these are boards meant to be as a backdrop or somewhere consistently sturdy. So once you get them hung up on the wall, your picture shouldn't pop off when you're trying to, you know what I'm saying, stretch it out and get it straight to hang it up. My pictures didn't, and if they do, again, you did this with paper and glue. Put a little glue on it, slap a little picture back on there, boom, you are good. You know what I'm saying? And again, these are great for social media influencers these are great for people who are into music these are great for people who are into products you know what i'm saying because they are four separate boards if you're doing product uh pictures for a brand or something like that set the four boards up put a bottom board sides and a back board that's four boards right there boom take the picture you have a whole design of your brand your logo your image your whatever you want to put out there it's customly done so it's gonna look professional you know what i'm saying people have backdrops all the time but yeah your little one sheet backdrop for walmart is done it's there and all but you know what i'm saying you want to step it up a little bit i will put your ten dollars to a better use and get you a nice little backdrop like this one but I'm so glad y'all stayed through to the end of this video. I tried to make this DIY as quick as possible. Make sure y'all check out my other DIY on my channel. My DIY $25 birthday backdrop. The link will be in the description. Have a good little day. And I'll talk to y'all later. Make sure y'all come back. Peace.